Howdy folks. Have you been working in Godot and you found that you wanted your parent node to look like it had a property or value from a child node, but there wasn't really a convenient way to do that? Well, I'm here to show you a little hack that I just figured out that I figured out while I was working on a state machine implementation. And as you can see, my state machine has a list of states. In this case, it's underscore states. It shouldn't be an underscore because it's used outside the finite state machine, but in this case, the reason it's got the underscore is because I'm now able to just remove that altogether. And this makes my implementation much cleaner. I can just say if the state machine has it, then go to it. And I really, really like how it's set up. As you can see, my player has a list of states. I don't have to have the state machine as a node in my actual player, I could, but I don't have to. And then for my actual state machine, you can see I just have two functions that I've overridden. Well, one overridden, one implemented. The one that's implemented is just a has function. And that just looks to see if the state exists currently. And that just simplifies the usage a lot. Get, on the other hand, is an overridden function. In this case, I'm overriding underscore get because that's how you properly override the get function. If you do it without the underscore, that function exists in Godot, but it won't actually return the value you're expecting. So in this case, when you override underscore get, you can say if that property already exists on some other value up here, so for example, if you had a node path to a node in an onReady variable, you could just return that if you were having the name in here. In this case, I'm looking through my states and pulling out the state value currently, if it exists, otherwise I'm returning the base value. And this is how you return the base value. You just do dot with the value or the name of the function and you know pass in the variables as needed. So that's all it does. Um, as you can see, like my state machine implementation is pretty simple. All I've got is passing in the states and uh, a lot of this stuff is just leftover stuff from uh, Game Jam. So yeah, that allows me to do this. So for example, I might want this if my player is falling. In this case, you can see it's the falling state. Uh, I might want this if my player was falling and fell into water, but at the moment, the player can't swim. Maybe he's holding something that makes it so he can't swim. Well, I need to check to see if that swim state is present, or if I try to switch to it, it'll cause an error. Now, you might look at this and say, like, why does this work? It says in the state machine, the get takes in a string. So how could it possibly work with this? Well, this is because of a little hack that is just in Godot itself. I say hack, but it's just how it's implemented. This is equivalent to this. So it's as if there's a dictionary that you're indexing into with that value as the string. And the reason having it this way is nice is just fewer characters. In addition to which, it, it doesn't give you exactly help. Like, I'm not going to get a compile time error if I uh, put an extra M in there, for example. But at runtime, it'll still throw an error. And it's basically because of a missing key. So... That's actually really nice. I really, uh, I really like how that's done. It looks better. It looks cleaner. And my usage is of it all over in my states to check to make sure that I can actually change to a new state. No longer require me to reference that underscore states variable or that states variable. And to me, that's really, really nice. Another example might be if my player had its own user interface for the health bar, I could have a node with the health bar here so, or anywhere on here. I could reference it by the percent symbol now with the latest uh, releases and then have that be an on ready variable in the player base. And then when I do a get, if I say get health, instead of referencing a variable and you know, trying to go down the chain of command of what 
that you know how to get to that variable in the node tree or how to manipulate that variable I can just say okay give me the value that is currently on health for the player and it will return the actual node as long as you override the get function to do so so that's just a, a little hack <clears throat> let me know below if you want to learn more little hacks like this things to just simplify your your code path and and to simplify the way that you build games in godot and uh yeah let me know if it was useful and uh one last thing we're getting really close to a thousand subscribers so it would really help me out if you subscribe to the channel so i can uh, start making a game with firebase uh, that's the the rule once i hit a thousand subscribers i'm gonna make a full game with firebase using my plugin for it to show you an exhaustive list of how to actually interact with things thanks bye